The landscape architecture category recognizes excellence in urban planning and the design of parks and gardens. This year's finalists are Tom Leader and Margie Rudick. Gustafson Guthrie Nickel is our winner. Woo! Founded by partners Catherine Gustafson, Jennifer Guthrie, and Shannon Nickel, the firm designs high use landscapes in complex urban contexts throughout the Americas and Asia. One of their projects includes the Robert and Arlene Kogod Courtyard at the Smithsonian American Art Museum and the National Port Portrait Gallery in Washington, D.C., where we had our teen design fair last week and 500 kids learning about careers in design. Here to present the Landscape Architecture Award is renowned philanthropist Robert Kogod, president of Charles E. Smith Management and a citizen regent of the Smithsonian Institution. Ladies and gentlemen, it's with great pleasure that I present this award to Gustafson Guthrie Nickel. As seen by this slide presentation, theirs is truly a distinguished, diverse body of work. And having personally worked with the firm, I can attest to their spirit of inquiry their creativity, their standards of excellence and professionalism, and their willingness to make room for the client in the process. All of this is being done with a great abundance of joy and exuberance. And so what could be better? Meetings, dinners, travel, lots of humor and laughter, all on the way to suburb, superb landscape design, adding to the vocabulary of landscape architecture. I offer my congratulations, and I ask Catherine and Shannon to join me on the stage. This is really quite an honor, but the first honor is to Bob Kogar and his family for believing in landscaping and understanding that it's an art form that they absolutely supported. You're missing a third person here, Jennifer Guthrie, who gave birth three weeks ago. And obviously, our firm is very abundant. <laughs> Luckily, we do have a sense of humor. <laughs> come in handy the last few months. Um, it's been an extraordinary ride, but I, I want to thank the Cooper Hewitt, and I want to thank the jury for voting us in, and I want to acknowledge Tom Leader and um, Margie Rubick that we struggle in this world of art and architecture to actually show that there is an extraordinary opportunity in landscape. And over there, there's this table of extraordinarily talented people from our office that we started 11 years ago on a whim um, that was a, a ride. And there is this thing called tenacity um, that we share, Shannon, Jennifer, and I. And it's stubborn <laughs> and it's joyful. And it means that we really think that landscape can be art, it can be environment, and it can be culture. And this group of people, with a lot of other people in the field, are really striving to achieve that excellence. And this acknowledgment today has been absolutely extraordinary for that. 
As landscape architects, uh, everything we do is inherently and unavoidably interactive. We don't have walls. We're not creating objects in a vacuum. Uh, and that's why we love what we do and feel really grateful uh, to, be do to be doing it. Each of the projects that Catherine, Jennifer, or I have, have led have been at collaborations uh, not only with amazing clients um, and uh, design teams and, and other designers, uh, they're also collaborations with uh, neighborhoods and cities. So every place that we work with, we take away a lot of personal um, change from that experience. We're particularly grateful to Boston, Chicago, Washington, D.C., Seattle, Cleveland, and Nashville as places that have welcomed us, inspired us, and trusted us uh, to come in as uh, outsiders and interpret their landscapes, the places where they live, and the places they're going to have to live with for years. And it's given us the excuse through a professional uh, cover to indulge in learning about all sorts of things that interest us, from migratory bird patterns to colonial history, from the relationship between mafia and the parks, which is kind of a long story, <laughs> to music traditions, to 300-year-old privies that we needed to integrate into sites, um, uh, to the finer criteria of rat habitat, uh, malaria research, uh, and vernacular irrigation devices. I could go on. It's all a very interesting set of things that we get to work with in this profession. And thank you for recognizing us. Thank you, Bob, and congratulations to Catherine, Jennifer, and Shannon.